Good morning and welcome back to Destiny Speaks. Well, today is Friday, you guys. We have made it to the end of another work week. I hope that today finds you well, that you awoke this morning in your right minds with a song in your heart and a praise on your lips, giving God the glory and the honor and the praise that he so greatly deserves. Amen. Amen. So listen, we have had an awesome week. God has been so faithful and he's met us here every day. We've been talking this week about uh, the word of God being like a seed and how important it is to um, get your heart prepared to receive the word of God. And in the book of Mark, uh, the fourth chapter, beginning around the 13th verse or the 14th verse, Jesus is speaking to the disciples and he's saying to them that um, the, the, a sower sows the word. And he's likening the kingdom of God. He's likening the kingdom of God and the word of God to a sower that sows the word or a farmer that sows seed. Amen. And he said that a sower sows the word. And he says when the sower throws out that seed, some of it falls by the wayside. Some of it is, is falling onto uh, stony ground and it doesn't go down deep. And, he, and we've been talking about those areas. You know, this is a person that hears the word of God. Maybe you watch this video. Maybe you've seen something on television and you've heard the word of God. But immediately the enemy comes and steals that word away from you. Or maybe you're a person who received the word of God. The Bible says with gladness. And, and it, but it fell on stony ground. So your heart was hardened. It fell on stony ground. So it did not take root. So, you know, you were excited about the word that you heard for the Bible says for a season or for a time. But then when persecution and affliction came about in your life, then you immediately, uh, lost hold of that word because there was no root there. And I told you it was important that you allow the word to get down on the inside of you. Yesterday, I told you that you had to digest the seed and that seed is Jesus. The Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was with when the word was God. So Jesus is a seed. He is the seed. So you can say in the beginning, uh, there was the seed and the seed was with God and the seed was God. And that seed, you have to, you have to let that seed uh, get down on the inside. You got to let the word of God get down on the inside of you and take root so that when affliction comes, when persecution comes, you'll have something that will cause you to stand. And then, of course, you have that person that received the word. The root is starting to grow in them. But now the Bible says the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches, those things have come about and it's, it's growing up with that word. So that means that things are happening in your life, you know, uh, that, that, everyday life stuff that gets in your way sometimes it causes you to take your eyes off God and causes you to look at your problems and you know it says the deceitfulness of riches a lot of times you know money will money is very deceitful riches can be very deceitful because a lot of times when we have everything we need when we can when we have the money for everything we need we get to the point where we feel like we don't need anybody and we don't need anything so whereas you that word was taking root in you and you were studying your word and you were leaning on Jesus. Now you feel like you're in a place where you don't need the Lord. You feel like you can provide everything for yourself. And that's deceitful. It doesn't matter how much you have. You're going to always need our Lord and Savior Jesus. So the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of this world, all that stuff is growing up with that word that's taking root in you and it's beginning to choke the word. Amen. So now, even though the word is becoming rooted, it's not fruitful because these other things in life are beginning to choke the word. But then the Bible says there's those what the seeds that fell on good ground. And that is that person that has received that word. It has taken root in their lives. When persecution and affliction comes, when the cares of the world come, they can still stand because the root has taken hold. And I told you that root, like a tree's root, goes down so deep. And when the winds blow and the storms uh, 
begin to come at you, you can handle that because you have a root. Amen. And the Bible says, and these produce fruit. That seed begins to produce fruit. Listen, a plant without a root cannot produce any fruit. Amen. That rhyme, you guys. A plant without a root cannot produce any fruit. And that is the truth. So you have to have root. If you see a person who doesn't have any fruit in their life, that's because the word of God has not taken root. So we just want to make sure that we are spending not only quality time, but quantity time in the word that we are really spending some time with the Lord. We're allowing that word to take root in our lives so that we can be fruitful and do the things that God has called us to do. Listen, I pray that you will meditate on the word this weekend and, and you know, don't let life get in the way. It's so easy to let life get in the way, but the word of God is the most important thing. Jesus told his disciples that if you didn't understand this parable, if you didn't get this principle, then you wouldn't understand anything else. You have to first understand how important the word of God being sown in your heart is before. If you don't get that, you're not going to get anything else. Okay. It all starts with that word being sown in your heart. Listen, I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate your support of Destiny Speaks. Continue to pray for me and I will continue to pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for my listeners. I pray for those of you that click on here. I pray that you know, God will continue to bless your life, that he will continue to use you in a mighty way and that you will give him all the glory because he so greatly deserves that. Have a blessed, awesome, Holy Ghost filled weekend. Tell somebody about Jesus and meditate on the word of God. Begin to let that word take root in your life so that you can produce fruit. Have an awesome day. I love you guys.